guys and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you two of my favourite smoothie bowl recipes. If you've been with me and you've watched some of my what I eat in a day videos, I always start them off with a smoothie bowl in the morning. I love smoothie bowls so much. I feel like they just set you up for like a good day. I'm going to try and get this video out on Thursday. Um, I'm gonna try and upload on Thursday and Saturday. I feel like I need to upload more. And as always, if you have any questions or if you have any other video ideas, comment them down below and I will answer them for you. Okay, so the first recipe I'm gonna be doing is like a peanut butter one. I call this a peanut butter wall. And also it's like a great source of protein as well because obviously with the peanut butter in there, it's incredible and it tastes like ice cream. It's amazing. Okay, so all you need for this one is peanut butter, plant-based milk of your choice. I just use almond milk because that's my favorite one. A banana, some frozen bananas. I just always prepare these the night before so they're ready for the morning. And some cashews. about the noise it is just my oven that's on it is done um so it's up to you how thick you want it if you want it like really thick then you can just add um a lot more frozen banana um my banana wasn't fully frozen so it's not as thick as i usually go for but this is more of like a milkshake consistency it's still so good though <laughs> So this is my smoothie bowl um, as you can see I just chopped it off with some cacao nibs, some coconut, some peanut butter and some dark chocolate and also some banana. that we're going to be making is a mango and raspberry like sorbet smoothie bowl this is so good and it's so refreshing literally tastes like ice cream it's amazing and um, hopefully this one will be a little bit more thicker because the raspberry and the mango are frozen so yeah okay so all you'll need for this one is some frozen mango half an avocado and one non-frozen banana and some frozen banana and um, you really need about half of this so we do half and half I'm just going to put one small date in for sweetness as well and as you can see because it is quite thick it might take your blender like a couple of tries to like whiz through it because it is thick <laughs> I just pop some blueberries, coconut, and also some raspberry on there. Okay, so that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a giant thumbs up and subscribe, and also hit that notification bell. <laughs> so you know every time I upload a video um, and yeah I, I will see you guys on Sunday bye